Welcome back to our channel, or if you are new here, my name is Lindsay, and I am traveling along with my husband Tyler and our little dog Zona on a two week long road trip adventure. In last week's video, we thrifted our way across Nashville, tried out their famous hot chicken sandwiches, and of course, ended on Broadway. After that, we took on Memphis to try out Beale Street and listen to some amazing live jazz music. Now we are continuing to our next stop, which is actually Tyler's home state of Missouri, where we're going to be spending an entire week. What's up, YouTube? We are on our way to Springfield, Missouri, home of Missouri State University, where I went to school, Spring Vegas, home of Bass Pro, O'Reilly Auto Parts, but most importantly, it is the home of our good friends, Kenny and Kim, who just bought a home, and we're excited to go spend an entire week with them. We've been on the road for seven hours today, Very so. Very much, yeah. I'm ready to get out, Zona's ready to get out, it's an homage person on it. Oh, there you go. Oh my gosh, they are Amish. They're Mennonite. Yeah. All right, we're in Missouri. The sights and sounds of Missouri already getting getting into it. As soon as we got there, Zona immediately went in the backyard and had to get out her zoomies, and then very quickly found her new favorite perching spot in their living room and made herself very much at home. After we got settled in, they took us to a local farmer's market. Yesterday, there was sun and there was rain. Beauty in the Monday. And as the light started. After exploring the farmer's market, they took us on down to Commercial Street, aka C Street, where we went to Blue Heron, which is one of their favorite spots for breakfast. How is it? That's amazing. <laughs> That's so good. It looks incredible. So we like told some other people. <laughs> After we filled up on an incredible breakfast, we went down to check out all of the shops Commercial Street has to offer. They even had another farmer's market going on because it was Saturday morning and they had all of the beautiful flowers. We walked past this community center, which had been closed for quite some time, but recently just reopened its doors to feature an art exhibit. The next shop that we went into, quite honestly, took my breath away as soon as I walked in. It was just so beautiful and then I quickly learned that this was a shop that you could come back and do your own watercolor pieces, which stay tuned, we immediately decided to make plans to do that later in the week and it ends up being one of my favorite things we did for this entire trip. Somehow the shops just kept getting better and better. I was in love with this one as soon as I saw the disco ball ceiling. If you know us and our channel, we love all things mid-century and boho, and this store is just packed full of vintage items, which is right up our alley and definitely a really cool shop if you are in the area. Here 
introduce the famous Menards. All right, I am very excited. We are about to go into Menards, which is not a thing in Florida. However, Tyler has talked this place up. It's apparently like a Lowe's, but you can actually get like groceries and stuff there. Yeah, it's more, and we're way too excited for this to be just a basic hardware store. They've got food and they've got tons of stuff. So it's, it's got a little bit of everything. So it's our first time and we're gonna go check it out and spend, waste a few minutes walking around Menards. Yep. They've got jeans here. <laughs> Get some overalls here. Those are massive. Those feel like a seven foot dude. I think I'm gonna get a shirt. <laughs> Look at these. That's it's awesome, yeah. Seven dollars. Can't beat it, might as well. I'm like, what color do I get? <laughs> Tons of options. Alright, Zen is gonna be a happy camper. Get her a little dog toy. Buying frozen pizza at the hardware store. Looks good too. Alright, throw it in the cart. <laughs> okay, so here is the part where you're probably like, why on earth are you guys so excited about a hardware store? But if you are a fellow DIYer, you know just how many trips you take to Lowe's. And if I could do some grocery shopping and get a frozen pizza while I was there, it would make my entire life. So I am very jealous of you guys that have Menards. On our way to go check out some open houses. I see the signs. About to find our next home. Buy one up here, a little vacation home. <laughs> Become the Missouri Flippers, change our name from Florida Flipsers. There it is on the left. Oh, here we are. Does anyone else visit open houses while they're on vacation or is it just us? I will say I am a realtor by day, so maybe I just have a love for seeing other realtors do business in other cities. Plus, it was just really cool to check out a couple homes and see what you could get in this area. It definitely made us consider buying because as you can bet, prices are a little bit more affordable in Missouri than Florida, and these houses had a lot of charm. We got time on our side We're in a state of hope I need you on my fire I want you to know That every time you're away I long for you so much I can find my way We got everything here At least to stay alive all right, it's Monday morning. It's a little chilly outside, so we're gonna use this cold weather as an excuse to make it a thrifting day. There's a lot of good thrift stores and flea markets in the area, so we're gonna hit them up and share with you what we find. Hopefully we can find some cool Missouri stuff. And Get all the sweatshirts. <laughs> all the sweatshirts, yeah, to endure this little colder weather that we're not used to in Florida. But First up is Red Rack's Thrift Store. The Red Rocks Thrift Store is kind of equivalent to a Goodwill. Up here in Springfield, there are multiple locations and they are all laid out more so like a store. This one in particular had a vintage shop area, which I really enjoyed, but you are definitely paying a premium because they selected those items. Even just in the regular section, I looked at all the sweaters and the cheapest ones were like $15, which to me was pretty crazy. These weren't even trendy items. So after that, we decided to leave empty handed. Next up on our list was a place called Relics. This came highly recommended to us, so we were excited to check it out. And as soon as we walked in, there was a beer cooler where you could buy a beer and sip it as you shopped. I would definitely have taken them up on it if it wasn't like 9.30 in the morning, but Florida needs to catch up because that is a very cool way to thrift. One of our first purchases was a Missouri license plate. 
and it was only $6.50. So we definitely have to add that to our shed. Towards the back of the store is where they kept most of their furniture pieces. Some of them were definitely priced a little bit higher than I would imagine. However, similar to a regular thrift shop, if you look hard enough, you can definitely find some treasures. They had an insane collection of mid-century furniture at a very affordable price point. I now understand why they offered beer at the beginning of the store because I'm not even joking when I tell you it took us four hours to get through this entire store and that was with us splitting up who would go down each aisle because we did not want to miss anything. This place is truly incredible and you can spend most of the day here. Somehow we still had energy in us so we made one final stop at Mike's Unique antique flea market which right off the bat had a giant selection of furniture so as always i wanted to check the prices and compare them to our flea markets and i was surprised everything was very affordable in my opinion compared to our flea markets almost everything was under a hundred dollars and then I saw a vanity that I swear is identical to one that we found in the trash recently and they were selling it for a hundred bucks. Another crazy find were these rattan tables, which once again, we found the exact same ones in the trash, the side tables, and these ones were listed for $150. And now for my favorite find of the day, this gorgeous antique buffet. I loved it so much. It had some wear, but it was listed for only $250. What do you got? <laughs> oh, those two sconces with me? Yeah, they're pretty. You want them? Yeah. We getting them? Yeah. Grab those suckers up. <laughs> got your thrift dance on? Mm -mm. You like them? Huh? I do. Let's get them. Shake it up, baby. I haven't mentioned this yet, but part of the reason we came up to visit our friends was to help them give their patio a makeover. So stay tuned, we have a full video on that, but here is a little sneak peek of the checkerboard pattern. Later, we ended up going to that shop I mentioned before where we could come and do our own watercolor. We had the entire shop to ourselves and we were able to bring our own wine and charcuterie. They even let us play our own music and it was such a fun experience. I wish they had a shop like this back home. I highly recommend it. Attention to sound The one that's coming from your mouth Don't mean to turn it upside down I really want to hear you out I can't know how it is To be where you so calmly sit When I'm further my own there is After assembling the patio furniture, we wanted to hit up a day game to see the Springfield Cardinals and luck was on our side because as soon as we got there, the guy at the front gate just offered us four free tickets to get in, so that was a great start to the game. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. 
Varsity or junior varsity haircut. Look at this. <laughs> How excited are you? How American are we? Miller Lights, funnel cakes, hot dogs, bratwurst, we got it all. For the Cardinals, right hander them. After the game, it was finally time to bring in all of the finishing touches for this backyard patio. It was so fun to reveal the new space to our friends and to just thoroughly enjoy it for the rest of the evening. Cheers. 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 Granddaddy of all outdoor stores. That's what it's about. You excited? Yeah. How long has it been since you've been here? Uh, at least four years. Oh my gosh. Do you think green or black? I kind of like the black. Let's see it. Oh gosh. It? You look great. <laughs> Our friends Kenny and Kim have annual passes to the aquarium here and they said it was something that you cannot miss so we were excited to use their passes and we went the long route so we started in the museum area and they had a whole area full of artwork which ended up being one of my favorite parts. Oh no. What makes it Springfield style? And battered teeth fries, and there's a little gravy on top. That's a brown gravy mix. So oh wow! Very Americanized, unhealthy but delicious. Chef's <laughs> <laughs> kiss. Let's hear your genuine reaction. You don't have to lie for me. That's good. <laughs> Okay. It's definitely fried. It was a little hot at first. Answer. All right. Did not disappoint. STD flea market. Oh, very excited. We 
forgot our tripod. So this man is driving our car in front of this little sign to hopefully get a good thumbnail. Oh my gosh. See if we got the shot. <laughs> New, used, abused. <laughs> this place was set up very similarly to Relics with a bunch of individual booths. And right off the bat, I found a bunch of frames for only a dollar. And then I found a beautiful mid-century piece of art and it was only $22, but it was too big to bring back home. And I still am sad that we did not pick it up. These are pretty. These are solid. I don't need them. But... <laughs> These are kind of cool. Old signs from like a diner. It's an extra large. No, you are not an extra large, so I was just assuming. It's like a robe. You can pull that off. Goes with your sweater, Beth. That's too big. All right. All right, guys, it is a miracle. We're leaving the thrift store, the flea market, a massive one and empty at that handed. empty handed. How does that happen? We would have got that piece of artwork, but it is like this big. Yeah. And we have like 17 hours we have to drive home. True, so. and a small little coop right here. <laughs> so I guess that's the real reason. We would have brought a bigger car, would have brought a lot more. On to the next, the Vintage Peddler. What a name. Found an antiquing map with all of the local vintage flea markets. Maps and all, here's Springfield where we're at. That's amazing. We've got 10 options. <laughs> we just got started, I guess. Yep, here we go. to our art collection very often but this one looks amazing it's about. calling you yeah somebody said you are the last one of your kind it's only 10 bucks i love it somebody got to oh, please yeah. it will be me a thousand times i didn't know oh you my gosh do they have any four dollars <gasps> are you freaking kidding me no way nuh -uh. I don't care how much it is, it could be a million dollars. Twenty dollars? Oh my gosh. That's us. We're getting it. All right, stop number two. We did not leave <laughs> empty handed. I've got our little flag here. I think not the total bad. for all three and the flag was like 60 bucks. 61.55. Andy's. I got the the boot daddy, and what did you get? The James Brownie. Oh, they fill it in the middle. Chocolate concrete, a little pick me up after we've been <laughs> flea marking it all day. Right, all right, time to dig in. Oh my love. You're such a fragile thing, I know And with the winter comes the ice, the snow But I'm here at all Okay, we're on <laughs> another My car love. Trying to get the shot thumbnail, here we go Don't worry about the cold, just 
forest yet The trees haven't started to shed after breakfast, it was time for Kenny and Tyler to hit the basketball courts just like they used to do in college. However, Kenny has definitely kept up playing where Tyler has not. However, it was fun for us girls to cheer them on. Lucky for us, on our final morning here in the area, the annual art fest was happening on one of their most historic streets, Walnut Street. Look ahead, the sea is calm, and I know we've been through a lot, but just wait. Mm, wait for better days to come. Like wind in our sails. Hold on tight. I can smell the shore, it's right in front of us if we just hold on tight. This vision that I saw is getting closer every dawn. After browsing and seeing all of the booths at the Art Fest, we decided to walk on over to Hold Fast Brewing to get a nice cold beverage because today was surprisingly very hot. This was one of our last stops on our one week long stay here in Springfield. I hope you guys enjoyed us bringing you along. It was really fun to kind of do a more vlog style and just show what our life is like when we're not flipping furniture. And this was such a reminder for us that it is so important to take some time to go visit people you love, to travel and just get out of your house. So if you are still here, please like and subscribe because we still have our whole journey and road trip back to Florida.